What is going on everybody? Welcome to Dylan Talks Tone and this is your weekly gear news update all about guitar stuff. If you like guitar stuff, I mean, I'm assuming you do, that's why you're here. Do me a favor and hit the like button and the describe, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do, call it button. And uh, let's get right into this. We have some pretty funny stuff today. We've got a uh, very interesting bunch of guitars. We have some interesting amps. And we don't talk too much about Harley Benton on this channel, but we got the perfect upgrade for your Harley Benton. So let's get right into it. Dan Electro first with their Triple Divine, which is the short horn double cut thing with an extra lipstick pickup in it. And they say that the bridge pickup is pretty hot. So uh, this is gonna be a rocker in the normal semi-hollow Dan Electro thing just with an extra pickup in it. And I think it's gonna be an extra 100 bucks for that pickup. Comes in these four cool colors, somewhere around 800 bucks, something like that. Uh, so if that's your thing, now you have some more switching and pickup-y stuff. Fender Japan has come out with their first kind of like, well, I mean, most of their stuff is Japanese exclusive, but this is for the Japanese market. It's gonna be sold in their new big Fender store. And uh, you see it here, it is a basically more traditional Stratocaster than we normally see come from Fender Japan. However, they say it is strictly for the Japanese market because it has one measurement that is specifically different. A 1.615 inch wide nut as opposed to the 1650, so narrower. And they say that it's for the Japanese market because smaller hands. It says that in the press release. I'm not making that up, uh, so I don't mean that to sound anyway in particular, but it's very interesting that they're doing this specifically for this market. Other than that, it's basically a Strat. And it costs 148,500 Japanese yen, which is somewhere around $1,150, something like that. Gibson has just announced a Billy Joe Armstrong Les Paul Jr. Now here's a couple of interesting things about this thing. Uh, one, it's a, it's a Gibson, it's not an Epiphone, because we have the Epiphone version one out there for what, 549-ish, something like that. This has a P90 in it. However, it is a noiseless P90, and it is said to be a evolution of the Sidewinder. So for those of you that may not know what that is, basically they took two Firebird bobbins, and they put them on their sides inside there, and they put the screws in the middle, so it's a little bit different format for a P90, but it still fits underneath there, and apparently it's noiseless. So, I haven't seen it, but according to the press release, that's what it says. That's a very interesting way to do this guitar, so it should be quieter. I think this thing is gonna be somewhere around $2,100, something like that, so it's a Gibson, and at that price, with the Artist Premium on top of it, cool pickup, and also has a very pink, you see it here, very pink with leopard skin inside hard shell case. I'm sure if you're a guitar person and you've been on Instagram, you've been on Facebook, you've been on the social medias, you have seen the Chibson memes. They are hilarious. This dude is a genius of a guy, but I don't know if you know this or not, but they actually have a merch store. You can go and buy stuff there. Uh, it's pretty, they've got some pretty funny stuff. Uh, I made a joke about a Harley Benton upgrade. You've got the cease and desist little coin, so if you have a Les Paul copy of some sort, or even a real Les Paul, it doesn't matter, I don't care, whatever you wanna put it on, I think it is hilarious, and that is something that you can now buy on chibson.com. Blackstar has just come out with a, a, another amp, 249 bucks. I would say this is in the uh, competition with maybe the Boss Katana, something like that. It is a 50 watt uh, kind of little combo, it's two channels. Uh, it is solid state. It does have a MOSFET preamp. It does, it's all it's all solid state. So there's there's no tubes in this thing. Um, it they say, I'm just gonna read this. It's R&D team went beyond standard MOSFET implementation in a bid to harness genuine tube tones that are virtually indistinguishable from chosen valve references. It's also got the ISF knob where you can go from British to American kind of tones. Uh, it's got basically all the things and they're saying that you want to pretty much use this as like a gigging pedal platform, which sort of makes sense if it's, if, especially if the clean side's really good and you can put some pedals in front of it, 
uh, this might be an interesting app, especially for $249. It'd be an interesting one to put up against, like I said before, the Boss Katana. Just in case your positive grid mini was too huge for you to haul around, they've got the new positive grid Go Spark Go. Uh, let's see, so you've got the Spark, which is 40 watts. You've got the Mini, which is 10 watts. This thing is five watts. I'm wondering if they're gonna come out with, I don't know, like positive grid earrings or something that'll just have one little tiny or positive grid earplugs with one little, I don't know, how, how small are we gonna go? This is pretty interesting, but it does have all of the stuff. Pair it up with the amp, uh, with, the, with the app in your phone. Uh, you can play it. Uh, you can use it as a Bluetooth speaker. It's got all the stuff for practicing. Uh, and apparently it sounds really good. I reached out to the team at Positive Grid to t today to try to get one of these things because I'm interested to see how it compares to the other one. I believe it's $109 on the intro of this and then I think it'll be somewhere around 150. So you can kind of see where it falls in that category. It makes sense. You've got, you know, the Fender, the little Fender plug-in Mustang micro amp at 109 bucks and then you've got you know, this thing at 150, and then you've got the mini somewhere around 200, and then the positive grid 40 on up. So we're covering all the bases at price points and at portability needs. Uh, you'll be able to get, I think, eight hours out of the battery that's in it that charges via micro USB. So, I mean, it's gonna do everything that probably, within reason, that the uh, mini does, but even minier tinier, smaller, pretty interesting. Headrush has come out with their latest pedal all-in-one modeling amplifier. Kind of to go up against the Quad Cortex and the Kemper, I guess, but at a much lower price point. I think this thing is 1249, somewhere right in there. And it will model your amps. It has auto-tune on a vocal side, so you can plug a microphone into this thing uh, and make yourself sound like an actual singer, even though you're really a guitar player. Uh, I don't know a ton about this. It just came out. It does a lot of things. It's a very powerful unit. Um, I do know that it's pretty deep as far as how it sets up scenes and rigs and such like that. It's got a seven inch touch screen. It's got tons of IO. This thing is the new hotness, especially at the price point that it's at. Um, if you are interested in knowing more about it, I will recommend to you Steve Sterlacci's YouTube channel because he just did a video. I'll put a link to one, on the little timestamps where we always timestamp all these products. I'll put a link to his latest video that dives into this because it's very interesting how much this thing can do. He gets pretty nerdy, and I don't even think he's tipping the iceberg on this deal. I think it's gonna be a pretty involved unit, especially at the price point, kind of going up the heat against the Helix, the Quad Cortex, and all those units. Definitely one to keep your eyes on. Now here's something very interesting. I, th I heard about this a few weeks ago. I was sworn to secrecy, and I just saw it again yesterday, and it is out, and I have ordered one. This is the Seymour Duncan Hyper Switch Bluetooth five-way switch. And you may be thinking, wait, what? Bluetooth? Yes. So if you ever wanted to do coil splitting, phase flipping, uh, all those sorts of wiring, and we, you know, we get questions about this all the time in our comments of our YouTube's how our, our YouTube comments. How do you do these various wiring diagrams, and how do you wire a guitar this way, and etc. Well, what you do is you get this switch right here. It's 150 bucks, so it's not cheap, but it has a Bluetooth module, apparently that you can Bluetooth to your phone and be able to program it to do various switching. You just plug the pickups into the switch and then route everything how you want it. And then you can change it up. Now, this I don't think this is one of those things that you know, if it loses Bluetooth connection, your guitar won't work. But I think it's one of those things where you can actually just, you know, before you play your guitar, you can set it up however you want. I don't 100% know for sure. I will probably have it the day after tomorrow, and I am very excited to try it. I actually have a Strat coming also so that we can have some fun with this thing and learn a few things about it. We'll put a couple of different combinations of 
pickups in the guitar and we'll try some various things so that we can try all the features that this switch has. It's not gonna be sponsored. We went ahead and paid for all the stuff, but I'm very interested in this. I think this is gonna be, this is like next level tech in an old fashioned guitar because you're still using all the old stuff. You can use your, your pickups that you already own. You can use whatever. You just plug them into this switch, goes right into the normal spot, boom you're ready to go. What a bunch of cool stuff today, man. Uh, everything is cool. Like this is so fun. I love it when we have a week like this where just everything is just cool. All this stuff is really interesting stuff and we have technology marching and we've got it Im implemented in ways that I think anybody from any budget from the, small, the smallest budget up to the biggest uh, can implement this stuff and try things and experiment with their guitar tone. I really dig it. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the like button. Like I said earlier, there's gonna be links to all this stuff. If you use those links, it helps out the channel a bunch. I do appreciate it. Even if you don't buy anything, just shop around because it tells those companies that, they're inter that you're interested in guitar stuff. So I appreciate that very much, as well as make sure that you check out our live stream on Thursday night. And we've got a video coming out on Friday. We're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna talk about nut stuff on Friday. And then uh, I'm actually going to Colorado next week. So we are gonna build a guitar next week. So that's gonna be pretty cool. So stay tuned for that. A bunch of live streams and various little pieces of content from there. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you soon.